A good day to each and every one of you, my brothers and sisters of the faith. From my short clip series, this episode is taken directly from the Gospel of John 14. My topic today is the promise of a helpmate. Jesus said, quote, If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he will give you another heifer, that he may abide with you forever, the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. Close quote. Now there's so much to unpack here in this passage of scripture. Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Though it's hard to confuse what the word love means, the word if begs a question because you may or may not love Christ. How do you prove that you love someone? Well, it is proved by your actions, by your deeds, rather than just mere words or thoughts. Christ said that if you loved him, you would keep his commandments. His new commandments were to simply show that we have love for one another as he loved us. He died for us all. That was the ultimate act of love. Although we're not expected to die on the cross as did Christ, we are to give ourselves for the benefit of others. We are to be willing to assist them by doing all we're capable of doing for one another. Love commands actions of good faith and good deeds. Now just this morning, I had to make a short store run. On my way, I saw a couple walking down the street. The lady appeared to be holding onto her man's arm quite tightly. They appeared to be rather destitute. You could sense their despair. And when I saw that, I prayed briefly for them, but I thought, should I go back and do something? What good is prayer if you're not willing to follow it up? So I argued with myself momentarily, and my higher self won the argument. So I turned around and caught them. In my wallet, I had about $21 in cash on me. When I caught them, I asked a couple if they were okay. The man replied, well, we're managing. Immediately, I just gave him the money in my hand. And he looked at me and said, how did you know? I told him I didn't, but the Spirit sensed that they were in need. I also told him that I would pray to the Father, asking for his blessings and mercy upon this couple. Then I left. Now Christ told us that he would pray to the Father, and the Father will give us another helper that would abide with us. However, we must hold up our end of the bargain, which is to love one another. In return, Christ would pray, asking the Father to send us a helper. Now this helper is called the Spirit of Truth, who will indwell our mortal bodies. He also said that the world cannot receive this heifer because it neither sees nor knows him. But we will know him only because he indwells in us. And we know he is there because we sense him in us. Now, 
Now, how ironic that this would happen just one day after I wrote my original essay about the Holy Spirit, our helpmate. As I was praying and the Lord was teaching me about the Holy Spirit, I asked him if he would show me a way to share with others how this is supposed to work. It does no good to have the spirit of the living God in us if we don't know how to use it. The best way to do so is to let go and follow your hunches when God beckons you. You will know it's him when he asks you to do something good and righteous, showing love for one another. Now, the devil wants us to doubt each other and turn away from strangers. This is what he does very well. Regardless, though, when you do what you do in the name of Christ, you can't go wrong. Even if you were mistaken, the Lord will turn what the devil does for harm into something good. Well, Christ went on to say... These things I have spoken to you while being present with you. But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring your remembrance of all things that I said to you. Peace I leave you with, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither be afraid. You have heard me say to you, I'm going away and coming back to you. If you love me, you would rejoice because I said, I am going to the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it comes that when it does come to pass, you may believe. Now, the point for me personally was that the Lord allowed me to see with my own eyes how this works so I could believe in him and also I would be able to share my learnings with others. All who have accepted the Lord as their Savior has this promise helpmate. However, it does you no good if you do not know how to put him to work for you. Be still and know that he is God. He has given all of his believers a helpmate. This is the promise from Christ to us. To Almighty God be the glory. Say la, say la, say la.